place to film today. This looks good. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. We are shooting from the garage today. Figured I'd change scenery a little bit. Uh, since the last video, I know we wanted to cover the last 10 days of sales. So we will jump right into that. At the end, I will share uh, net profits per month for the first four months, um, just so you can see the progress that we've had. Um, so we'll jump right in. First sale uh, on 10, 12, October 12th, we sold a Victoria's Secret sports bra. Um, I let these go for uh, probably lower than I should have, but these were part of our first purchase uh, about three months ago. So um, we've already doubled uh, what we paid for this lot of bras. So uh, just wanting to clear some room in the storage unit. So uh, sold it for $12, bought it for $6.60. Again, only made 76 cents on this one, but just wanted to get rid of it. Um, the next one is a maroon Victoria's Secret bra. Uh, bought it for $6.60. Uh, net profit, $1.80. Next one, this will be the third uh, Michael Kors purse. Uh, they also wanted to do a bundle deal, so we bundled two sports bras on there as well. I think I have maybe less than 10 uh, bras left, so uh, cost of goods $77.71 on this purchase. They bought it for $145 plus shipping, so net profit is $48.59 there. Uh, the next one, I got some title boxing gloves. Someone set them out in their trash and said, take them. So Caroline and I snuck down there, took those. Um, they sold the same night for $39 on Mercari. Um, so again, paid nothing for them and got 24.03 net profit. Uh, next one up is actually a used item. I know I said I don't sell used items. I don't buy used items to resell. This was something that Jen had in her closet. Uh, women's bathrobe, uh, sold it for $13 on Mercari. Zero, call them that zero cost. I didn't pay for it anyway. Uh, net profit, $3.58, $3 $3.58. Next one, fourth Michael Kors purse, um, purchased on Mercari for $102 plus shipping. Uh, we purchased this for $62.54 after tax, and net profit is $26.30. Next one up, uh, Mia Amore knee-high boots. We got these at Macy's in the clearance rack. Uh, we paid $5.60 for them. They sold for $35, including shipping. So after everything's said and done, paid the fees, we made $16.36. Next one up. The net profit was only 45 cents, but I actually bought a lot from Wholesale Ninjas. Um, didn't even think I'd be able to sell these ones, so I think this will be the one we make the least amount on. Um, so I sold them as a pair uh, for $10 with shipping, so we made 45 cents on them. Again, everything else is gonna have a much higher net profit, so I was just happy to get rid of these. Next one up is an eBay purchase. So eBay is where I do probably the fewest sales. Uh, most of my sales are gonna be on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace. So um, again, this came with a lot in our one of our first purchases early on. Um, probably a bad purchase looking back. So again, something I just wanna get rid of. We actually lost money on this one, but cleared it out, get it out of here. Um, uh, product of New York sweatshirt for $18, including shipping. Um, each piece with this lot was actually $14.27, more than I pay now. Um, we actually lost $3.96 there. Next one up is a very interesting piece. I saw this at TJ Maxx and I saw the brand, which I didn't know anything about, uh, is Tadashi Shoji, if I'm saying that right. Uh, I think it retailed for $408, so I knew there's definitely room in this one for profit. We purchased this for $30.74, sold it for $90, including shipping, uh, and profited $36.06 there. Um, the next one up is another one from Jen's Closet. So 
Uh, it's an extra small dress, uh, maxi dress. The cost was $0 and we profited $5.65. Sold it for $11 including shipping. Next one up is part of the Puma outlet purchase. We sold, I think it was the first day or second day after we made the, the first purchase of 13 pair. Um, since then I actually bought 12 more, so stay tuned for that one. Um, sold this one on Facebook Marketplace for $45. Uh, the cost of goods is $21.19, uh, so net profit is $23.81. Next up are going to be Cell Plasmic Women's Puma Shoes. Uh, again, from the outlets. Uh, sold this for $40 on Facebook Marketplace. Cost again is $21.19. We profited $18.81. The third uh, Puma shoe, uh, the Barbie No Doll, size six and a half, sold for $50 plus shipping on Mercari. Um, net profit $22.36. And the last one, as of last night, we sold a uh, American Eagle shirt that we got from a friend actually. So zero per sorry zero cost. Uh, profit $9.28, uh, sold it for $10 on eBay. So um, those were the last 10 days uh, of sales, but I also wanted to kind of walk you guys through the progression since uh, July 12th is actually when we first made our first sale. Um, so from July, and obviously we've, you know, purchased a lot more goods since then. I think I have 160 items on Mercari posted. Um, you know, I'd say at the end of the first month, I probably only had about 30. So obviously the more we post, the more we sell, um, so on and so forth. So in July, uh, our net profit from July 12th through the end of July was $129.67. I'd say not bad for the first month, not really knowing what I was doing. Um, and then we shoot up from there. In August, net profit $539.85. September, $468.38. So obviously we went down a little bit, but it was a month where we spent two or three weeks packing and moving. So there's a good amount of time not purchasing, not listing, not promoting, that sort of thing. And so, for, so far for October, uh, net profit $450.93. Um, if you go in and figure out your, your average uh, net profit per day, we're still on track to beat our highest month uh, from August. So as you can see, you know, obviously we're buying more product, we're selling more inventory, um, and just hoping to continue the increase in sales. And let's talk about net profit. So. You can do many different things with your profit. Obviously, you can just pocket it all, use it for bills, use it for savings, whatever the case may be, but you're not gonna grow your business that way. So what we've done is for every dollar that we make, 80% goes into the business, 20% goes to take home. So um, that's really the only way you're gonna be able to grow your business is continue to put more back than what you started with to be able to purchase more inventory. So we started this business with $1,000 in the bank in the bank for the bank's business, not $1,000 in the bank. Um, we don't do this because we need the money, we're doing it to hopefully get it to a place where we can rely on this income more and more uh, as it grows. So, you know, putting 80% back into uh, the company to reinvest in, you know, more, more product, um, some of the expenses with shipping, um, so that way, you know, the 20% we can take home, we can reinvest in the business if we want, uh, to eventually get our inventory up to you know five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and that will obviously generate more sales per day with more things that you have listed. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, please comment down below with what you'd like me to cover on the next video. Um, if I don't hear anything, I'm probably going to cover how to actually get started on Mercari, how to get started on eBay, how to get started on Facebook with what you have in your house. So we'll talk to you soon. Hit the like button, please. It will help my channel a lot. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell so you'll see when I post another video. Thank you. Y'all come back now you here.